and welcome back to another video guys today we are doing Premier League table predictions okay and you know what we are going to do another one after all the transfer windows are done but right now all the teams were announced well done to form getting promoted um, well um, and yeah let's get in to the table right now right in 20th we have none other than Fulham why well it's just because it's Fulham, I just don't see them staying in it, really. Who's, who's beat Pin outside? Wait, just one second. Right. So, as I was saying, um, in 20th, Fulham. Just simply because last time they spent what was it 100 million maybe even more than that and it didn't work out for them this season i believe they said like they're not going to be like spending much money they're going to use like most the majority of this team that got themselves promoted and i just don't think they are premier league worthy i don't think that team is premier league material even though, to be honest, Sheffield United somehow got ninth with a team like what they have. So you never know, but I'm going to keep them in 20th. In 19th, we have... Oh, it's a bit of a tricky one, this was. But I put West Brom. Because last time I put teams like Newcastle and what? Not Newcastle, I put teams like Norwich in 12th. And I was like, oh, because they've been promoted, they might have that high spirit or something and they might somehow stay up. I was completely wrong. And I think this is what's going to happen with West Brom. Um, it's going to look like they might stay in, but they're just going to fall. I mean, who's, wait, who's even the striker? Charlie Austin. <laughs> More like Wally Austin. Am I right? No? Okay, moving on. 18th. Anyway, I put Burnley. What? It should be Villa? Nah. It's, go it's going to be Burnley. Trust me on this one. Burnley will get relegated. Trust me on that. They're relegated. Same thing ha that happened with Bournemouth is going to happen with them. They don't even have a great team right now. And they got 10th. But I think it'll be too much for them. Um, it'll be too much for them at, in this um, season. And they're just going to go and get relegated. In 17th is none other than Crystal Palace. I mean, you probably thought I was going to say Aston Villa again, but I didn't. I said Crystal Palace because if Zaha goes, who's going to fill his spot? Eh? And right now, you look at it, they've got people like Cahill, who's like 38, you know. And then you've got other players like Ben Teke that I don't think they can do it anymore. And I don't think Palace will get any higher than 15th. I think they'll really struggle at this season and they'll be just close of getting relegated, but not quite. In 16th, we have Aston Villa. Now, I was thinking about this. Should, it be eight? Should I put them in the relegation zone? Should I put them just above in 17th? But no, I'm going to put them in 16th. Because 
the team that they had, the team that they spent 100 million on, didn't have time to connect and join together. They didn't understand each other's ways of playing. They've had a full season now. They know each other well. They have that chemistry with each other. They have, they understand each other's roles in that now, the squad. And I just think, adding a bit more to it, not a lot, but, I mean, you're hearing them might get Divock Origi, Rashika, a little bit of quality like that, add to it, would make that team just a little bit better, and maybe even stay up, even if Grealish stays, or goes, I think they'll stay up, just or, just about. Ah, my headphones got attached to me. In 15th, we have Sheffield United. And a lot of people are going to get angry with me right now because they ended 9th and I put them 15th. Um, just simply because I don't think they'll... I think it was like a one-season wonder, that team. They, they won't get that high again. I don't think they'll get top 10 this time. A lot of teams will strengthen up. Sheffield probably won't strengthen that much. And I just think they'll be down there this time. Moving on, we have 14th position. Who could that be? Oh, Newcastle United. Damn right. You know why? Because of Joe Linton. He is one of the worst players I've ever seen. Oh, no. Joe Linton should have never moved from Hoffenheim. He was doing good. And then Steve Bruce brought him in and, I mean, what is it, two goals in the Premier League, something like that. My, my nan, with two broken legs, could do better than Joe Winton. I mean, they have set Maximan, who is alright, but if you don't have any more quality, it's just him doing it on his own, which ends up meaning the team flops and I just think 14 could be the position they're always around that position anyway so why not again this season 13th hmm kind of don't want to put them this low but I've gone with Southampton I kind of don't want to put them that low because I love Southampton, Danny Ings is what a player he is, Danny Ings. Oh, 22 goals in the Premier League, easy peasy, lemon squeezy. But, apart from him, who else do they really have? By quality and that, they don't really have much. And I just reckon it's just going to be a simple 13th position for them, that's all I can say really for them. 12th position, we have Leeds United, that's right, Leeds, I've put Leeds in 12th, just a bit lower than 10, top 10, but I think Leeds are one of them teams that, they have an alright squad, but I don't think they'll get any higher than 12th, I really don't, because I mean, you look at the players that they have. They have Calvin Phillips. Um, they have um, Calvin Phillips. They also have that other guy. Oh, what's his name? Um, Calvin Phillips. Oh, yeah, that's right. They don't have any players, okay? They don't have any noticeable players apart from Calvin Phillips. Okay, and you put what about Patrick Bamford, who? The Premier League reject, he played for Crystal Palace, Chelsea, and did nothing. Simple as this. If Leeds don't start off good, they're relegated, I'm saying. Simple as that. Um, but right now, I don't want to anger fans and that. And I'm just going to keep them 12. Maybe after the Premier League season. Premier League season. Maybe after all the transfer window has closed 
and I'd do another one to say would I change anything maybe I might say this should be higher or lower de determining on who they get and who they keep and all that but right now I keep them to out I think that's a pretty standard spot for them in 11th I put now these ugh, these should be a lot higher but they've not made any they've only made two signings so I'm just going to keep them there for now in 11th I've put Brighton that's right Lallana FC I've put in 11th they've signed Adam Lallana Veltman who was part of the Champions League um, amazing season by Ajax Veltman was, is also the captain of last season for them a great great signing for them um, and yeah I think they'll do alright I think if they can get a striker and what, so, um, some other players and whatever Brighton can, can do it in the top 10 now just making it in the top 10 in 10th position I've put no, I think 10th and 9th should be swapped, but I've um, I've made the predictions on my form and I've written them all down and I'm just going to keep it like this because if I start changing things, you know, the old table might happen. So if I change 10th and to put them 9th and they actually end 10th, I'm going to kick my head, honestly. So... In 10th position, I've put West Ham. Why? Because I think Sebastian Hauer should hopefully do a lot better this season. Antonio, if he can start the way he ended the season, whew, that's going to be good for them. Jared Bowen might start kicking off as well. Um, yeah, Malenk. For now, Van Zine, Susek. They've got a nice little team, and if they buy a few more players to strengthen that team up, they should be getting top 10 easily. In 9th, that should be about 18th. I've put Everton. Yes, Everton. The worst team in the world. I've put 9th. Just because. I don't know, it's Everton. It's Ancelotti as well. If he actually gets sat, if he actually signed people at hour in that, you just never know. As long as Ancelotti's their manager, you never know with the signings and position in that. Um. So yeah, ninth, I guess, would be a standard position for them. Um, they're always around that spot anyway, ninth to like thirteenth. Um. And yeah, it's just simple as that really for them. Um, in 8th, I put Leicester City. Now, Leicester, little old Leicester, the team that bottled top 3, that bottled top 4 and ended 5th. I just don't see them doing as good. Yes, they are Maris and Verdi, Perez and might even strengthen up. I just don't see them doing better. I think all the teams that I put ahead will strengthen up 100% and just go ham in this league this season. And I just don't think Leicester will, will keep up this time. But you never know. In seventh, I have put Tottenham Hotspurs. Why? Because they are bottle jobs. And um, as long as Mourinho keeps playing his style of football and is still manager of that team, they will not get all the sixth position because it's a it's a dead it's dead that the tactics of him is dead like nobody uses them anymore and everyone knows how to coach on them in that night so. I just think Tottenham will um, bottle it again, the top six, and just end seventh. But the team that will get in sixth this time is none other than Wolves. The last two seasons, I think they got seventh and then seventh. I think they'll step up 
get sick this time. If they can get a backup striker, and maybe some more little backups and strengthen up a little bit more, they will easily make top six because Wolves somehow have become one of the top teams to watch now. You know, with your Dama, Jimenez, Jota, Neves. They're a good team that, if they strengthen up, could get even higher than sixth, really. But we'll keep them there. In fifth position! We put Arsenal. Yeah. I don't know why. Actually, I do know why. I think Pepe will come out of that shell more. He understands how to play in the Premier League now. Which means he might be able to start doing what he did in the league on. No, maybe. I don't know. But I think Pepe might start getting better. Obama Young, if he stays, he's got goals. Um, who else? If they can get some defenders and that and strengthen up there. If they actually do get Coutinho as well, I think they can get fifth, maybe even fourth. But I think it'll be I think it'll be tight between fifth and fourth. And then the top three will be tight as well, I think. Um but yeah, fifth for Arsenal I think seems reasonable. In fourth position I've put Manchester United I should have put them about 10th, but with all the penalties they get, with all the dives they do, I can just see them probably get in top four again, just because of that. The Verchester United, they pay refs off. You know, that stuff, I just think, yeah. I think United will um, stay up, especially if they get Sancho. Now, I'll admit this, if Sancho does come to United top four is definitely on the tables for them but you never know with United sometimes they have a massive team and they don't get anywhere near top four we'll have to see it in this season I guess but no in third no I think top three will be very tight first second and third will all be in like the high 80 points you know I think it'll be very, very, very close between the top three. But I think in third will be none other than my Chelsea. We thousands of Man City. No, no, no. We're going to say Chelsea. Um, Timo Werner signed. Ziyech signed. Pulisic is a beast. Um, they might see even sign Havertz. Might be sending a goalkeeper and a defender maybe and a left back even. So they are really strengthening up. But, but, I've got a question for them Chelsea fans. Do you, how do you know Werner and Ziyech are going to pop off? How do you possibly know that they're going to pop off? Pepe was one of the top performers in the French League. Before he went to Arsenal. He went to Arsenal and did nothing. Who else? Pogba in his first season. Hardly did anything. I'd come to United. And everyone thought it was going to pop off. Um, there is a few players. That have come to the Premier League. And just can't handle the Premier League. You know. Ziyech. Or Zayek. However you want to say it. He's been doing it for Ajax. He's been doing it in the Eredivisie. It's not challenging, you know. You've not got players like Harry Maguire, Van Dyke, who will drag you down, who will push you off that ball, who are strong and quick. Well, Maguire's not quick, but just like pulling you down in that, being ruthless, that is in the Premier League. Uh, and I know, and like, Werner, I, like, they might have a sour for season with the break records or do really, really, really good. But then, there's that other side, where they, they might just not be able to handle the Premier League. You know? Because Verdi's been doing it in the Bundesliga as well. That's pr the pretty easy leagues, okay? They are pretty easy leagues to, like, score and create. 
chances in. But Premier League is going to be a lot high, harder, and the um, the tempo is going to be a lot higher. So I just I don't know if they're going to be able to handle it. But we will see. I know in second. Have I put Liverpool, Manchester City, Liverpool or Manchester City, Liverpool or Manchester City? Well, ladies and gentlemen, I have put. Mm, I've put Manchester City in second place. And that's right, ladies and gentlemen, that is right. Liverpool will retain the league again. If they can sign a backup left back like they are going for right now in Jamal Lewis, they can get Thiago. A backup centre back. Then there is no chance that they cannot retain that title. Simple as that. Man City, yeah, you can spend 200 million. You can buy Ake, Ferran Torres, Koulibaly, Joe Felix, whoever you want. But Liverpool have something that they don't. What is that? I'll tell you, Liverpool have Jordan Henderson, the best captain to ever grace the Premier League. <laughs> now that was a bit over the top, but just give me, just let me speak, okay? One of the best midfielders in the league right now. Yes, Kevin De Bruyne is number one, but he is definitely in the top five. Henderson, one of the, probably the best captain in the league. Right now, okay, who exactly is that leader in City? No one, no one is a true leader. Like if we don't have Henderson, we have Milner as the leader. If we don't have Milner, we have Van Dijk as the leader. We have, and then Robertson the leader, etc. We have multiple leaders. City do not since they left company, since company left. No leaders, that's why they failed. And if we keep it up, we can easily retain. I think it'll be a lot more tighter, but I think Liverpool will retain the league. Maybe not, maybe they will. I don't know. All I do know is that I need a fucking shave, man. What the fuck is that? Oh, no. Okay. But apart from that, I hope you enjoyed the predictions. If you did enjoy it, hit the like button. Hit that subscribe button. Why not? Comment down below what else you want me to do. Also, I will let you know I'm doing another video very soon. Okay, I'm doing another video very soon. And that's going to be... Actually, I'm not going to tell you. I'm going to let you wait and see for what that is. I've got a lot of videos planned and coming very soon. Um, and then, my desk and chair have been ordered, so they're coming very soon, and I'm going to sort the room out, get it stream and YouTube worthy and ready, um, what else, it's me birth, well, this is going out in what, the 7th of August, on Friday, so when it comes out, my birthday will be in 11 days, it's on the 18th of August, um, now nah, I'm just excited for what I've got planned. I've got some things on YouTube I'm going to do, some things on Twitch I'm going to do. And yeah, leave a comment if you want to about what else I should be doing. Um, and I'll see you in the next video. It's been your boy Adverse 76. And I will see you soon. Uh, good. Uh, bye.